Hello everyone, Card is here, and I'm being trolled to death by YouTube. Actually, uh, my cat kind of decided... What the... Oh. Huh. That triggered without me being able to see her. Well, whatever. Uh, basically there was a werewolf and she ran into her den. So, whatever. But, uh, yeah, my cat bumped, I, I guess, bumped my power cable while I was... while I was asleep and yes, interrupted an upload, be. so that kind of sucks. Um... Huh. The shade, huh? Go on. Okay. Alright, go try and kill the Shade Lord. No complaints for me. Let's see, come on over here, get random spell scroll, random stuff that doesn't matter. A uh, gold necklace might actually sell, honestly. What is this? Ah, uh, Globe of Invulnerability. I've never really used the, um, well, any of those things, really. Basically, what they do is uh, make your character resistant to spells, but who cares? Like, if if the spellcasters are actually casting spells on you, then you're pretty much screwed, is how it works. So, eh, you know, I wouldn't even wouldn't even worry about it, guys, to be honest. But I. Get some of these things going on. Maybe I needed to take a quick stop in Watcher's Keep. Ah, you know, there's no reason I can't just do that right now. I think I will. Uh, we're going to do the first floor of Watcher's Keep really quickly. These arrows are just pissing me off. So, over here. Oh, come on. Freaking pathing. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it just drives you crazy for the whole game. But, over in Watcher's Keep here, it'll give us a little intro. Intro? Okay. Rumors of ancient ruins and incredible treasures often reach the ears of the party as they travel the length of the Sword Coast. But no tale is so lucrative as that of Watcher's Keep. The ruin still stands, it is said and a religious order known as the Knights of the Vigil have made a call wide and far for heroes to aid their dangerous cause. Details are scarce, and curiosity leads the party quickly to the glade of the keep itself, a deserted place that whispers in the wind of the most ancient evils. Okay. Well, I'm sure these guys aren't going to betray me. Look how trustworthy they look. What hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi there. The child of Baal has come. We had hoped uh, that yeah, I would happy would just to you know him. what you want. Raised that would be extremely convenient for me. Hearing. I'll help you, but I need to know what to do. All right. Here, we are atop the ancient prison. All right, and for whatever reason, you have to talk to this guy to get the items you need. No, I don't have any other questions for you. Uh, let's see, you get this stuff and this stuff. This lets you actually enter, because you need it for some reason. And this is a ritual you need to perform. Ah, uh, oh, we can't reveal it, but it's down at the bottom Speed. there. Uh, we'll get there soon enough. I think for now, we can, we can buy things from her. I don't know if she has anything worth buying, though. Hmm... Hmm, maybe some decent spells. I bet she has some decent spells. Whoa, what the? Short Sword of the Mask, huh? Whoa, I didn't know you could buy a plus four short sword. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, huh. Interesting, interesting. This can actually be upgraded. The Short Sword of the Mask. I don't know to what, but... Yeah, and this thing, well, that thing's actually pretty good too, so, well, something to keep in mind, but I think for now, nah, this is all like level 4 and 5 stuff, nothing too big. Um, do I have anything to sell? I don't, I don't even think I have anything to sell. Oh, no, how could I? I haven't really gone anywhere. Yes. But, uh, we mostly need to go through the first floor so that we can pick up some useful items. And uh, Baldur's Gate 2 throwing a ball is a bit better about 
about zoning your characters so you don't always have to like constantly have your party falling on top of itself. But only a little bit, viewers. What is only it? a little it bit. Um, let's see. Can I detect traps? I don't remember if these things trapped or not. Okay. Let's all come up here and take these defeats out. Because they suck. Alright. Uh, fog, fog of War? Okay. Oh man, I was getting nervous there. Let's see, uh, these statues, we can't do anything with them. We don't really need to do anything with them. There are traps all over this room, and all over this whole dungeon. This whole dungeon is a giant trap. Uh, literally, actually thinking about it. But, if we come over here, we get the only thing I'm really interested in, in this whole dungeon. Is it in here? Mm, no? Must be in here. There it is. There it is. The Quiver of Plenty plus one. Unlimited plus one arrows. Oh, I'm too far away. Of course I am. But uh, that's all I wanted to do in here. I just wanted to pick this up so that we didn't have any more issues. Um, yes, hmm. without doubt. I'm really tempted to buy that crossbow. I'm kind of curious, yes. though, if, if this character can gain multiple proficiencies in crossbow. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. I don't what know. Because that thing does a lot of damage. I had never never really noticed that before. But that is a tremendous amount of damage that thing was speak. trying to do. So let's go ahead and rest. Cast friends. What's our reputation actually? Yes. Eh, we'll come and buy that later when we've got higher reputation and it's a lot cheaper. I think that's that's the path we're gonna take with this. Because our reputation's gonna shoot up pretty shortly here. And it'll be it'll be good. But back to the temple ruins. I'm just tired of having to make sure that I have arrows. Not worth Certainly. it. Let's see now. Now to get where we're going. Oh, the shape will respawn. Huh. Maybe an infinite XP system? Ha. <laughs> well, uh, let me let me tell you right now, viewers. There are plenty of better places in the game to get infinite XP than here. Um, there, I think it's on the third or fourth floor of Watcher's Keep. You can get a bunch of demons to spawn, like repeatedly, and those demons will give you like twenty thousand per kill. So that's that's way better than 500. Mm. Ooh, in Throne of Ball, there's actually a... It's kind of interesting. There's a guy who keeps spawning, basically. But he can't attack you, and you can attack him with ranged weapons. So, really, all you have to do is give your characters some infinite ammo ranged weapons and set their AI scripts to be aggressive and they'll just sit there and farm you infinite XP and if you go AFK for like a couple hours you, know, you can just demolish people. Alright. Here we go, here's what I was looking for. Uh, look at all of these shadows and these ridiculous viewers. But, uh, you know, we're making short work of them. They're not really a threat to us. Now, uh, there are so many that right up here there's actually a, like a window reflected over here. What the? Really? I got paralyzed? Yeah, these guys are a bit annoying. But, if you come up here, you'll see she she got killed by the shadows, but if you if you play with this thing, it'll it'll reveal them. The problem is you don't get the XP for killing them, so it's kind of... Whoa, whoa, everybody that I care about is getting held. Well, that kind of sucks, but... Eh, even, even two of my party members are probably strong enough to handle this whole thing. And I don't know if you get XP for turning the window. Hmm, I could. I think I shall. Uh, yeah, and then if you lead them over here, they would die. But apparently they're going to die anyways. And then we go down here. And... Down in this little room. Oh, well, there's another Shade Wolf. There are Shade Wolves all over this place. All over the place. Uh, these are the guys that you can summon 
with Animate Dead here. Once you hit level... Ooh, is it level 15 or does it say... Yep, yeah, yep. Level 15. Uh, pretty nice. These guys are really strong. They're highly resistant to magic. They've got like 85% or something chance to just resist magic outright, so really, really obnoxious. And, uh, oh, I wanted to try one other thing. Let's see. Cast Spirit Armor on yourself. And cast Shield on yourself. I'm not sure if they stack or not, and I'm kind of curious. Oh, why, yes they do. So with, with minimal armor class affecting stuff, She's looking really, really tough. Yes, so that's awesome. Doubt. Hey, that kind of rock. All right. Oh, the Shadow Jailer. All right. Well, I think I'll just kill you guys. Yeah, what you gonna do? And then we can come over here. Now, you see there's a little thing right there. Uh, you, you have no way of looting that. You're supposed to be able to get that to get a Dawn Gem, but it's kind of a bug. It's a bit annoying, but... Use the Shadow Jail key over here, because I believe you have to. Halfling lass. Your Grace, I am Mazzy Fenton, a valiant servant of justice and righteousness. Alright. And you shall have it. Uh, she's interesting. She's a halfling fighter. She's got, like, Grand Mastery in one of the bows. But, uh, I never really use her. She's kind of outclassed by the casters in the game, in my opinion. Yeah. Alright, let's go. But, meh. I don't know. I, I typically, if I'm going to use an NPC sure party, it would be... it'd be better to use, like... Hmm, who is better? Probably Valgar, Minsk, Edwin... Oh, either either Nalia or Yan. Maybe both Nalia and Yan. And then, like, Viconia and Eri are also good. Mm, there's some... Oh, but you need Keldorn, too, so... And maybe drop Minsk for Keldorn. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This guy wants you to take a test. Um, I think you recite the Tenets of Fate? No. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you can attack this guy, but he's completely invincible, so... Sing the him. Nope, nope. Okay, well then, it's two... Three... One... Yeah, alright. And then the next one is like... What is the next one? Three... One... One? Yeah. And then the last one, one, two, one, three, one, I think. One, three, one. No, maybe one, three, two. One, three, two. Yep. Okay. And for doing all that, you get this thing, which you need, pretty much. Speak, certainly. You need to actually defeat you, you the Shadow God, anyways. The Shadow Lord. Yeah. Oh, and uh, also, this effect, we're having our abilities drained. Uh, if uh, any ability gets to zero, you die, so just keep that in mind. Um, you're supposed to be able to get another one of these things, but you can't, which sucks. Yeah, and this room has the same instant killing effect on the undead that some of the other rooms had. Oh boy, what's going on? Why didn't we... Okay. There we go. Uh, this tells you the rituals. Tells you most of what you're supposed to do. Usually you have to guess one answer, but meh. Meh. No need for that. And stuff constantly spawns in here, which is a bit annoying, but nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. And don't forget to bring these bones with you. Let's see, but the little dawn... What is it? It's the sun gem that we got opens these doors. Now, in theory, you're supposed to be able to come over here and just open this one because of the sun gem that's inside that talking head, but since you can't actually use it, you're kind of screwed. That's pretty much how that goes. Let's see. I thought there was a trap. Oh, right. Stuff just spawns randomly for no reason. Right. Kind of a trap, but not really. 
Um, in this room over here, you've got to kind of book it. There's an ion stone, which is pretty nice, actually. Up in that room, however, if you do this quest at a bit higher level... Oh, what are my... Hmm. But if you do this quest and you're a bit higher level, there will be a lich in this room. Uh, fortunately for us, there is not a lich in this room. So that's pretty good. Alright. And just drag all of these guys over here. Oh, this would be a perfect place to use Daystar, by the way. Because you've got Sunray, which just obliterates undead. Bam. Yep, killed two of them. Badly wounded two of them. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, see? Look at how tough those guys are. Takes so many hits. But they also like to carry potions of mind focusing, which is uh, pretty handy. I don't remember what's in here. Thought it was trapped, but. Oh, yep. Yep, it's trapped. And uh, you can get Wyvern Caller, which we'll probably never use. Oh, God. That's a bone golem. Uh. Hmm. Sounds like a good time to use the Mace of Disruption. Come on. Don't be like this game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, come on. That Bone Golem, I think went pathing through the walls to come kill me, so that was pretty unfortunate, viewers. Uh, normally, you don't get screwed over like that, but we did this time, so oh well. Yeah, we'll just send the whole party over. Might be a little bit safer. Not that much safer, though, apparently. Man, look at this. Pretty, pretty brutal there. Alright, detect that trap again. But yeah, I think that guy came from right here. There's a bone golem right there normally. And uh, I think he just came over and killed me from there. So that's kind of annoying. But uh, that little thing we picked up there is the white ion stone. You regenerate two hit points once in a blue moon. Um, it protects against critical hits though. All Like wearing any helmet protects against critical hits. So, wow, really? He doesn't have a helmet? Hmm, I sold a helmet of charm protection earlier. Now I feel a bit silly. Although he's immune to charm anyway, so I suppose it's not very important that I did that. Ah, whatever. Whatever. So, I'll just pop on over here. I don't feel like getting burned by the fire. These old bones? Yeah, basically you have to get those bones, and that summons this little girl, and you get a ton of XP, and she gives you, for all of your trouble, ah, there it is, the Shadow Dragon Wardstone. Something that you need. I think she also gives you that. Let's see, in here, Pierce Magic. Yeah, not so important. Not so important. Yes. And then the last thing you need down here and yeah we're if you open that with your sun gym the sun gym oh wait we don't have it quite yet but there's another sun gym down here and if you open that you're pretty much screwed because of that bug i talked about earlier so keep that in mind don't, don't get yourself screwed over um, these guys are not very nice just not very nice but, for killing them, we get a lot of good stuff. So, oh, did I loot their... I think I looted their cousins upstairs there. Well, nothing we can't fix. Bam. Alright. Aw, oh, really? Hold on. Yeah, more inventory micro. We just can't beat it, viewers. Just can't beat it. Oh, when I'm leaving the sword behind. Yeah, they sell for decent enough money, and we're we're not quite at the point where we want to totally ignore it, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Now over here, we've got a fun little puzzle. Uh, basically, if you walk on the wrong tiles, you take damage, at least you're supposed to. Um, honestly, it's not got very good hit detection, so most of the time you're actually fine. But uh, hopefully, okay, forget it. Use our 
ring of Gax there. And I think it might be immune to backstab, so yeah, that's something. And they hit so hard though. Maybe I should have given myself improved haste, a bit more attacks per round, but eh, probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, now over here is kind of a kind of another weird thing. Uh, later on, if you've got a romance going on with one of the one of the female NPCs, uh, well, basically they just get killed. I'll just tell you, they get killed, and you have to bring them here to purify their body or whatever. Uh, yeah. All right. Very well. Let us cross. Yeah. Uh, that's just a guy that. That needs our help, basically. What is this? Shadow prison key. Oh, we don't even need that. Yeah, we're we're done ever needing that. And then we go Ominator, or I guess it's Rots Anuam Ah. Yeah, doing it backwards. Fool, you think I would let you live? Yeah, and he's like a generic shadow. And he just got one shot at like a fool. Alright. Give this guy some two-handed swords, so I actually have some inventory space on my main character. And we need the symbol, Speak. and we're gonna need Center. that sun gem right over here. I think? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we've got some special things we need to do. First off, we don't need that. We don't need that either. We need skull traps. We need a lot of skull traps, viewers. Tons and tons of skull traps. That's what we want. That's what we're doing. And yes. actually, she may have gained a level and I haven't assigned her abilities. No? No? Okay, I did. Uh, how about her? She got spells yet? Yeah, she can cast some spells too. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe slow poison. Why not? Uh, yeah, rangers get access to some druid spells, but they're not that great, so I don't even worry about it. Without but, if you come up here, there is, well, I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous, but, we'll yeah, see, there's nothing in this room. Oh my god, yep, there's a dragon. He will ignore you with the ward stone, but he won't ignore you forever. But if you come over here, he, he kind of will ignore arm. you forever, so, it shall be. hmm, oh well. Let's see now. A Basically, snare. I'm just going to place a bunch of traps here. And you can sleep in this room, just so a you know. Has been set. Which is uh, kind of silly. But, a snare. I don't know. I like it. I like being able to sleep next to the dragon without having him get pissed off at you. That's something I think is a pretty fun. Has been set. But we're up to four. Why don't we kill, uh, that over there? Five. Has been set. And six, and there goes Lilacore being a butthead. A snare has been set. Let's see, and then we can put one more down, I believe, and then, okay, that's great. That's great. All right, that's yes. all of those yes. kind of traps we can take. It will be done. So next up, next up are the skull traps. What is it? We need lots of skull traps. What is it? Lots and lots of skull traps. Alright. And we're gonna see if that's enough. I I don't suspect that it is, but it could be. So we're gonna give it a shot here. Bam. Yep. Oh, I think I can take you, buddy. Oh boy. You didn't hit my traps. Oh no, oh no, 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 Up there go all of the thief traps, and do you really not take any damage from them at all? Really? Uh, hmm. Okay, well that's why we quick save. Oh, nope, there they all went. But still, we're gonna see, oh, hey, my bard leveled up, I guess I may as well. May as well do that, just for just for the sake of fun. Um, no, no, it can't be her. It has to be her. Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Skull traps can be a bit nasty. But, 
Assuming everything goes better this time. Alright. So I'm just pathing up this way a little bit. Oh boy. No, no. Gotta, gotta make sure the party AI is off or you get in trouble. Oh boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Aye. Okay, we're gonna have to move those skull traps a bit. Yes. And pretty much the only way to do that is to, uh, well, summon something on top of the skull traps to dispel them, and then replace them. So that's what we'll done. do. Yes, it will be done. Get over here. Get the skull traps down here instead. And hopefully this is effective. Uh, I don't know if it actually will be or not, but let's see. Okay. And again, it doesn't. It's not going to take a whole lot of these to actually get the job done, but it will take some. All right. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Look at that. I don't believe Cardus's traps triggered yet, so... Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to get Remove Fear cast on everybody. Alright. Hmm. Well, oh, there they go. There go. There we go. Yeah, so he's near death and he's toast. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how you deal with a dragon. They're not too bad. There's a sling that gets a bonus to dragons. It's useless. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. You needn't bother with that. You needn't bother. I am having serious inventory issues. Um, yeah, I think we'll just put some of our our hot swap items for this guy on her. And then we'll come pick this stuff up. Now, what do we get for our trouble? Well, mostly that. A bunch of gold, but we also get a Cromfair scroll. This thing makes the best, one of the best weapons in the game. Probably the best Warhammer for sure. Well, now, nah, nah, that's debatable. There's another really good one in Throne of Ball, but uh, this will let us make some great, great, great armor that we'll be doing uh, probably at the end of this episode. We're almost done. Um, now that we've killed the dragon there, all that's left is to come up here. Ooh, one of my guys is kind of weak. Well, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Far from it, fiend. I am the light that shall dispel your darkness, even though I am evil. So, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's going crazy on us, viewers. Nope. Okay, everybody, kill him. Yeah, we killed the statue, we killed the Shade Lord, that's what matters. You attack the statue, shadows stop spawning, which is what you have to do. And then a bunch of stuff happens all at once. Uh, over here is the body of Morella, the old ranger for them. And she's got some stuff that's bad but it sells for a lot of money so that's good enough for me over here we get a halberd i think which is probably never going to be used by us maybe uh, let's take a look here dusk blade 1d10 plus 2 and does two points of cold damage hmm hmm i gave this guy halberd proficiency didn't i let's see what are we looking at here they go six versus they go of eight. No, sir. No, sir. Nah. We're not even going to worry about that. No need. Uh, this right here. Some chainmail. 20% resistance to fire damage. Uh, again, we're just going to sell that. We have no reason to use that when we've got all this better stuff. Cloak of Stars. It creates six darts each day. Uh, that's, again, something that we need to sell. Ooh, we gained a level though, which is excellent because this still isn't high enough, viewers. Still isn't high enough. But ooh, everybody gained a level pretty much. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> level 
four spells, more stone skin. Level up, four, level five. Ooh, she got level five spells? Oh no, she already had one. So more chaotic commands. And yeah, more of that. Really, that's all we need. And then here, we need to level up again. Her saving throws and thacos are going just totally ridiculous. Yeah, negative two. That'll, uh, this'll let you hit almost anything in the original Baldur's Gate 2. And it'll let you hit most of the stuff and throw in a ball pretty consistently as well. So that's, that's kind of a ridiculous best. thing. But, uh, this whole area is now unexplored, which is annoying. But there's nothing you can do about it, so... Yeah. Um... We could go get our reward. I think we'll go get the Shadow Dragon scales first. Probably get ambushed or something, because that's what usually happens to me. I get ambushed all the time. Let's see. Pop on over here. You only really need to send one person over here to do this. And, uh, yeah. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Consider it done. What's up, bro? Do I have anything you could forge? Yep, the Flail of Ages. This quiver. Oh! Oh. Yeah, sure. Um, you give him a rogue stone, 10,000 gold, he'll improve your quiver plus one. Uh, normally you have to wait until throwing a ball to have that done. That's another thing from the tweak pack, I believe. So that's pretty handy. I wish we didn't have to watch that animation twice. But, meh, we'll get over it. Alright, do I have anything else? Let's see. Scale of a beastie. Alright. 5,000 gold and some shadow dragon scales. Uh, very worth it, viewers. It's so worth it. The stuff you get from it is just so freaking good. Just so good. Um, probably gonna be useful... well, at the very least it'll be useful till we get out of the Underdark. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was my cat making his descent. Hey, get down, kitty! Get down! Kitty! Get down. There we go. Yep, my cat's being ridiculous, but uh, yeah. Look at what that did to our armor class viewers. And we could even jack this and make it higher, but nah, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that, so now we've got a bunch of characters who can run around with stupidly low armor class. And uh, you can use a shield to make it even better, but nah, not even necessary. Uh, do I have anything else? I don't think I have anything else he can actually use. Hmm... Yeah, I didn't think so. But, yep, we got those two things. Now let's go get our reward from I will do my best. our buddy in Imsville, the Umar Hills. Let's see. Bam. And we are, yeah, see, look at this. I get ambushed, like, every time, man. Totally ridiculous. Even though, what are you doing? Hey. Hey. Oh right, I her arrows got taken away. But okay. Yep, that makes more sense now. All right. Total joke. I'm not even gonna pick up the spell scrolls there. Not worth our time. But into the Umar Hills. Four. It will be done. What is my our test? reward? And I think. I think, I think, it's gonna be worth my time to cast friends. I could be mistaken. I can never remember the charisma requirements for getting the good rewards, but... Yep, it was a Shade Lord. Alright, and we can get a hold of our Ranger Cabin here, and we get a reputation for doing that, which will improve our shopping prices. What is it? I agree. And now this is our stronghold, our ranger stronghold. We'll do their quests because it's really short and sweet, pretty much. Uh, you can just rest here constantly. I 
think is good enough. But, eh, well, let's just teleport over here and see if, see if the thing is here. Nah, not yet. Oh, here she is. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, basically we just need to help her because somebody's digging up the forest over in the temple ruins. There's a moose. And for doing that, we get a pretty interesting reward, actually. Certainly. And why is it... Oh, right. Now, uh, normally you have to go go all the way through the shadow dungeon again, but there are no more monsters that spawn there, so really it's just like a big waste of your time. But what you need is right here. In here you have a notes and a mithril medallion. Uh, we need to take these two things and come, I think it's over here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a wild tiger. Okay. Bit, bit random, not what I was expecting. Talk to this guy. Which is... Oh. If I found this thing for you, would you leave? Yes, I am. Please stop your destruction. Okay. Well, I found it already, actually. Alright. And, um... Sure. Yeah, I think you get bonus XP if you just give it to him. But, if you go back... Let's see, back to the Umar Hills... Hmm, I actually thought the, the spirit there would just teleport to you to talk, but eh, guess not. Oh, there she is. Hey, how's it going? Did we get the item? No. No, we did not, apparently. Hmm, come on now. Oh, there we go. Oh, come here. Come here, kid. Oh, for God's sake. Yes, without Do we have to go inside our... cabin? What? Oh, viewers. I might have... You have to be kind of fast with, uh, with that stuff. If you... If you screw up, yes. then Maybe. it... Will be it it takes away your cabin. Knock it off, cat. Let's see here. So, yep, we can still get in. So you've got to be a little bit careful about going too yes. quickly through it this stuff. Be. Otherwise, you lose your, your good stuff. Let's see here. Z, Z, Z. Come on, buddy. You no, know you want to spawn. Are you? All right. I'll be there as soon as I can. And uh, I don't remember where the orcs spawn. But you need to come talk what to Nellick over here, stuff? and he'll to wish. Speak. It he'll done. tell you to come up here, on my honor. where I you can. My oh, come on! Even with yeah, even with like 85 and hide in shadows, you still I don't have the greatest chance in the world. Where in the world are they, though? I don't remember. Really annoying. Oh, maybe they're over here. Yep, they are. Um, which one to use in charge here? Orogs. Ah, uh, the Orog leader. Hey, how's it going, dude? 
yeah, have fun with that. Alright, now let's talk about an interesting strategy that you can use. Uh, basically, if you run out of their line of sight, you can... Oh, really? Really random tiger? Oh no, you're a spotted lion. Excuse me. Well, hmm... I, I kind of like doing this. This is a bit fun to me, anyways. Yep. But then you just run around the corner here, where they can't see you, and you still fail to hide in shadows, even though... Whatever. Whatever. That's what potions of invisibility are for. Playing loop-de-loop -loop here. Oh, come on. I missed, really. Oh, but I got a critical hit and killed him. Yeah, uh, these kind of enemies would have been a threat in Baldur's Gate 1, from what I understand. But at this point... They're just kind of a joke, honestly. Like, I don't know what to say. And down we come. I don't know where Madolf went. Is he in here, maybe? It yeah, shall he's be. in here. Hey, buddy. All right. So, if you don't respond in time to, to that plea, like if you don't come here immediately, you basically get screwed. Also, if you give them beer and weapons, or either of those things, you can never be a ranger again, as far as I know. Let's see, do I have to talk to the minister? Yep, yep, just for some free XP here. Yeah, this is going tremendously better than than the keep in uh, in the Diarnas stronghold. Do another quick save. And I think there's only one more thing that we need to really concern ourselves with here. Maybe I just need to go park it at the ranger stronghold. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to remember with this one because half the time you need to be here and half the time you need to talk to the mayor Who are you? oh here we go I will be there right away alright well I'm sure it's not someone pretending to be Umar again what is my high level spellcaster I'm gonna one shot oh need. oh it is uh, okay, where'd she go? Yep, Speed. she's back in the shadow, the shadow dragon place. Um, hmm, which side of the map is this gonna put me on? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see here. Without doubt. And then I think, yep, there's an entrance right here that you can barely see. This is how you're supposed to get through this place normally, but you have to do it every time. It drives me nuts, so I typically don't. You must gather your party before venturing. But down in this wonderful room. <sighs> ah, I'm gonna yawn again and we're gonna get diverted over here, but to the best of my knowledge, there's nothing in this path, so if I don't find anything right now. Well, it's bad news basically because I'm just gonna teleport. Yes, All right, nice. everybody, get over here. Ooh, want to? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I left the party AI off after that dragon fight. Uh, you definitely don't want party AI for a lot of the harder fights in the game. It just it doesn't do anything for you guys. Take my word for it. Um, it's it's good for slaughtering these these hapless guys though. These things are freaking useless. But let's see, yeah, I'm still having issues getting into those shadows, driving me nuts. I shall not to you. Come on, game. Thank you. Turn off party AI again. Now, here's the lady. Uh, you could talk to her, or you could just backstab her and kill her in one shot. Which is uh, definitely the path I recommend. Oh, nuts. Let's see, can I invisibility myself? Oh, that's interesting. Her little buddy doesn't go aggro if you do that. Well, interesting. Hmm. 
Yep. And then there are just a bunch of salamanders and stuff to deal with. And once again, I can't physical. Man. Yeah, you need really high hide and shadows to get it consistent. Pretty annoying to me, but meh. I guess it's not too bad. It's just a minor nuisance. But what the? These things are still spawning. Are you serious? Give me a break. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, this will be sad. Even if he survives, he will die. Huh? Oh, you can't backstab with maces. Well, good to know. I always thought you could. Hmm. Well, clearly I'm mistaken. Where are you at, Skeleton Warrior? Oh, quit making your save. Come on, you're like a minus four penalty. Annoying. Yeah, these guys have really good saves, too. Just another reason why they're fun to summon, if, especially if you're doing a solo run. Uh, summoning these guys as fodder troops can be really handy. Man. Look at these things. Skeletons. Eh. These things, however, have really bad saving throws, so that's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's actually going to trigger the quest or not, so... Hmm. Well, hopefully it does. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to modify some weird values. Hey, yeah, quests... Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's the one that does it. She gives you an Idol of the Moon. Which uh, is usable only by rangers, which I believe is her? Oh. Oh wait, no, she's a fighter cleric. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well. Hmm. Well, we can't use it yet, but uh, this thing will be fun to use a little bit later. Because, oh yeah, I forgot. Minister Lloyd gave us... Gave us this item right here. Knight's Gift plus 5. Uh, its armor class is significantly worse than this. But... It'll be good for her. Uh-oh. There's my roommate. He's getting his keys, I think? Yep. Uh, I am roomed with the Wookiee. Just so you know. Straight from Kashik. He's pretty cool. But let's see here. What is this? What on earth? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember that or what it does. I'm pretty sure it has no purpose whatsoever, though. So just go through on an identifying spree here. And actually, this video has probably gone on long enough. So I guess this will be it for right now. I'll probably identify and sell all of this stuff off somewhere. But uh, until next time, this will be Cardis signing off.